two-story home that has had a kitchen fire that significantly damaged the first floor. We have a very important safety message for you today. This home has illustrated how important it is to shut your door. And we're gonna go upstairs and take a look at exactly what I'm trying to tell you. We are on the second floor where all the heated gases came from the first floor. The seat of the fire was in the kitchen as we noted. However, heated gases and smoke is really one of the lethal parts of a fire, and that's what a lot of people succumb to. So at night, if somebody's asleep, these gases can get into your room. But the big key is keeping your door closed. As we can see, up here, there are three bedrooms. Of the three bedrooms, two had their doors closed and one had it opened. I'm gonna take you first to the bedroom that had the door open and show you what happens to the door, or to the bedroom that has a door open. All the heated gases came into this room. You can see the nail marks on the drywall. That means there was significant heat, enough heat to do that. And anybody, had they been asleep in here, would have succumbed to those toxic gases. And so I'm gonna take you now to a bedroom where the door was closed. As you can see, the level of the smoke on this door banked down to here because the door was closed. Because the door was closed, none of those heated gases came into this room. And you can note what a remarkable difference it is when your door is closed. When this door was closed, had anybody been inside, the only smoke they would have been able to get to them would have been coming through the cracks here, which is minimal. There's a little bit of smoke also noted up here on the ceiling vent. But beyond that, a person has ample time to escape another way or to stay safe in here. If anybody were ever to be trapped, they would want to shut the door and have a safe refuge until help arrived. If you were asleep at night, you'd also want to have that door closed because that in conjunction with a smoke alarm is going to keep you alive. Here's the master bedroom. This is another bedroom that had the door closed. As you can see, pretty much everything in the room has minimal damage. In fact, the insurance company considers everything in here salvageable. They'll clean it, take care of it. Anything else that was exposed to the heated gas is a total loss. We can see that the door was closed and the only gases again that came in were through the cracks. Other than that, there would have been uh, complete safety inside this room until help arrived or until you escaped out a window, which we have here in the room. Every fire that we go on inside of a structure creates a flow path. And that flow path is looking for oxygen. As long as you keep your door closed and keep that flow path from getting to you, you're gonna be safe. One other message that we wanna leave with you is if you ever see a door that's open to a house that's on fire, we wanna close it. And so until a firefighter's there with a hose ready to put water on it, we wanna keep everything, windows and doors, closed.